The American Heart Association suggests adults to get at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous aerobic activity or a combination of both, preferably spread throughout the week. But how is moderate intensity activity defined? What about vigorous intensity? I'll answer these for you in this video. Essentially, your moderate is different from others and different from what it was last month and what it might be next month. To know if your exercise is mild, moderate, or intense, you need to be in tune with your body's cues. There are two common methods to do this, the rate of perceived exertion scale and the talk test. The rate of perceived exertion or RPE scale is a technique for exercisers to describe how hard they're working during an exercise. The RPE scale ranges from 0 to 10, with 0 being no exertion at all and 10 being the most intense effort imaginable. As you can see from this table, moderate exertion is around level 4 to 5 and vigorous exertion is around level 6 to 7. When you exercise, it is important to listen to your body and adjust your exercise intensity accordingly. In other words, if you feel like you're pushing yourself too hard, try moving down a level on the RPE scale. And if you feel like you're not pushing yourself hard enough, try moving up a level. By using the RPE scale as a guide, we're making sure we can make progress towards our fitness goals effectively and safely. What about the talk test? While the RPE scale is used for all kinds of activities, the talk test is specifically made for evaluating the effort of a person doing cardio by getting you more in tune with how you're breathing during exercise. In summary, the RPE scale provides a numerical rating of your perceived exertion during exercise, while the talk test measures your ability to speak during exercise. Both are great guides to define exercise intensity. And now that you're equipped with this knowledge, you have one less reason to skip exercise. If you're a beginner and don't know how to start, we have a video for you on that as well. I will attach it at the very end of this video. Remember, health is wealth and consistency is key. And you got this. This is Yuan with iHealth Unified Care. I'll see you next time. I hope you liked this video go ahead and scroll through our website or our Unified Care app for more information about chronic conditions, vitals monitoring, and general nutrition and wellness. See you again soon!